I had body pain, I was falling asleep at work, I had trouble breathing, I couldn't get across buildings. Just, I was itchy, which was the weirdest part. I was just itchy all over, especially my arms. So I, I went to see a doctor out in California to see what was going on. He thought that it was allergies or asthma, and he gave me a sample inhaler and sent me away. I saw him a couple more times, and every time he assured me, everybody in California has allergies, it's the pollution, it's allergies, don't worry about it. I knew I wasn't getting to get the help I needed in California, so I quit my job and I came back to Nebraska. It's on the right side from the very middle of my chest, uh, across my lung, and then down to my liver. So it takes up most of the right side of my chest. I had uh, stage two bulky Hodgkin's lymphoma. That same week we got the diagnosis and next week I, I started treatment. It, it all happened very fast. Um, chemo basically, I, I looked it up online to kind of prepare myself for it and I didn't think all the stories that I was reading could be true, but every one of them was. It's basically one of the most humiliating things you'll ever go through because your body shuts down on you. But I started feeling better. Like almost immediately after that first treatment, I could breathe better, I had more energy. The nurses have been absolutely amazing. My second cancer treatment, I think it was my second one, was on my birthday and the nurses actually brought me cake from the cafeteria to celebrate. Dr. Bierman has been great. He, he has been very straightforward, told me exactly what I had, what they were gonna do. He told me like the first day that we were going to, we were gonna kick the cancer's butt. It was, it was gonna be no problem, I would be fine. And I have appreciated his, his very positive attitude in helping getting me through this. X-rays look good and we're done with treatment. Don't need to see her for three months. Great day. Great day. Yes. They've done a lot to make this as, as comfortable, as fast, and as successful as possible. And it's been a, as wonderful experience as cancer can be. You kind of have to take charge of yourself. I want to get my hair back, that's number one. <laughs> and then I'm hoping that once I get my energy back and I, I get everything kinda back to where it's supposed to be, I can start working full time again and just get my life back on track and finish out where I was going.